Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to some more Let's Try Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And this time, I am in the, the absolutely delightful icon, uh, I think it's the A5 over here. A wonderful amphibious plane. You can see, I can, I can pop my gear out, but I can also bring them back in. And if I do, we can land on the water. There's even a little rudder I can put out. I don't think the rudder should be in there when I'm landing or taking off. I think it's more of a low speed kind of thing. I'm going to just continue to descend over here. My throttle's down. Let me move my keyboard, bring my joystick more and comfortable. For some reason, my trim key on my joystick isn't responding, which is being kind of annoying, but okay. All right, throttle's still all the way down. Still just descending. So this um, lock over here, I think, uh, it's not the one that leads to Inverness, is it? No, that would be up over here. I think at the end of this might be Glenfinnan. Yeah, I think this is Lock Schleff? Sheaf? Shield. Lock Shield. Okay. Ooh. I'm sorry, I got my Google Maps open on the other screen, and uh, I am interacting with things incorrectly. All right, let's go ahead and get some flaps down. We'll land. This is live weather, live time. It's about 8 p.m., I think, in the Scottish lands I'm doing this. Um, not a very cloudy day, which is nice. I mean, some of them over there. Is that a little... Oh, uh, I thought I saw a camper over there. Little vehicles. I drove along, I'm pretty sure, this road over here on a road trip of the Scottish Lands that I did with my wife last year. That was absolutely wonderful. Let's see how well we can do with this water landing. Uh, if we can, just trying to even out a little. Oh, are we? We are low. Lead off a little more speed, but I think we are well good. There we are and landed excellent a little bit choppy i'm trying to hit the brakes that does not work there are no brakes oh, look how choppy the water is here <gasps> proper 3d oh i hope this thing is relatively waterproof i don't know if this is a pressurized plane or not but yeah that was uh that was kind of nuts and i don't remember there is a button we got a bilge pump oh water rudder there, right over there. Now, you won't be able to see it. Oh, no, there it is. Right over there. Just popping off the back of the plane right there. And it'll help us uh, it'll help us steer a lot more because, I mean, other than the, the rudder over here, we don't have that much necessarily, uh, that much control. Let's go ahead and bring the rudder back up. And we'll just take off again. I'll bring the flaps back down one notch. And let's go ahead and see what we can see. Throttle up to the max. Yeah, these waves are just brutal here. I don't know how much how how wavy the uh, the the lock would be in practice, but I'm not sure. Uh, checklists over here. Oh, we don't actually have a takeoff checklist on this plane. It's a lot like the uh, Cessna 152. Very minimal checklists, but I don't think we have to go very quick to pull up over here. There we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely little plane. I guess a uh, positive rate, but there's no gear to bring up. I'll get us a little bit more altitude, and then I'll bring the flaps in. Let's see what we've got at the other end of all this, because yeah, there's not a whole lot of uh, on the map indicators in this area. Am I? Am I? I think a little hard to see because it doesn't 100% map. Am I going to crash? What I'm seeing on uh, on Google Maps? I think. Yeah, because that's Lachlan. This must be Lock Lock Shield. Uh, must be, which means Glenfinnan and right over here, which means the Glenfinnan viaduct is just past it, right? Somewhere over here, the the classic, the Harry Potter train. I think so. Oh yeah, I totally remember this. So I did this, I did this road trip. So um, left from Air over here, drove up um, along along here. There's Fort William. And then, I think Fort William is... It's really hard to compare this to Google Maps. Because the water, the, the you know, how, how they're, the various maps are drawing the waterways is slightly different. Is that... Is that, is that a castle? I don't know if it's going to look like a castle here. I don't know if the satellite imagery is picking it up. But there's like 30,000 castles around here. I mean, this just looks like, a, like some, some apartment buildings. I don't know why there'd be a block of flat out here, though. What would be out here? I don't know. I don't know one bit. I love all these little islands, though. 
just gorgeous. And this plane is an absolute blast to fly. Ooh, there's some scary clouds coming up ahead. I wonder if the weather's going to be changing. Also, the sun's going to be setting really soon, and it's going to be dark, dark, dark over here. In fact, already with the sun low and behind some clouds, it's already pretty dark and hazy over here. And it feels stormy. I mean, you're seeing the, um, the white caps over here and everything, right? I mean, we saw how choppy the water was. It feels like there's a storm coming, which would be totes of probes for Scotland. I mean, I don't know how many storms I went through. I love the, uh, the little bit of cloud that's occluding the top of the mountain here. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't tend to experience a lot of storms when I'm in Scotland. It does frequently rain, let's put it that way. But um, even then, things tend to be short. There's, we were, I, I tend to spend a lot of time on the coast. And so any weather that happens tends to clear out pretty quickly as well. Look how beautiful. Oh my god, the light is just touching the top of these mountains over here. See how it's glowing? Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. That is nice. That is really nice. All right, speed's good. We could actually uh, pitch up some. But you know what I'm realizing? I thought the trim wasn't working. This, this indicator isn't working. The trim itself is... I'm pretty certain. Oh, yeah. It's definitely responding. Okay. All right, so it's just a visual thing over here. Good. Because as I say, flying's going to be real annoying if we don't have uh, trim. Because there's not a lot of extra stuff over here, as we can see. There's a there's neat little GPS. It's actually, it's like touched surface, too. So we can check things over here. Uh, you know, get your nearest uh, various airports and markers and things. Ooh, it's starting to get choppy. Look at that. And which makes sense because the airflow over these mountains are going to be extremely... It's going to be extremely variable. Again, I don't know if you guys have seen that video yet with the... Um, the airflow, the aerodynamics of the ground, but like the air actually going up the mountainside, then coming down and getting really, really turbulent. Look at the top of it. In fact, I think, I think it's cooling off, right? It's getting later in the day. I'm betting it's cooling off a bit, so the clouds are effectively going to be descending because the the point at which the uh, the water sort of vapor turns into water droplets. Oh yeah, we're we're just hitting the clouds. You see, you see the movement over here. We're just getting into it. Let's um. Let's descend a little. We'll just throttle down. We're in, we're sort of expe exceeding some of our, our speed goals here anyway. We're still climbing currently. I'll nose down a scooch. There we go. We'll just try to stay below the clouds and see. I don't know if there's a gap over here between any mountains where we can avoid entering the clouds and still scooch through some of this. This would definitely... We wouldn't be able to exit on the other side. It could just be a box cannon. No, excellent. We've got, we've got some space on the other side. Great stuff. We'll just dip down a little. I don't really have to descend any more than this, actually. A little too much might be a bit risky. We can just skirt through. Luckily, they're fairly light clouds here still, so even if we poke into them ever so slightly, we shouldn't be blinded. Sun's just turning into a circle now. Little gaps over here. I like you can see you can see the light hit the edge of the clouds there for a second. Some bits being exposed. I can't the lighting model in this is absolutely stupendous mmm look at this behind us um so I wish I knew a little more about the geography over here I mean these are these are probably various bends right I think that's the uh, the Scots mountain words right like Ben Nevis and all that that's just, just mount um I'm not entirely sure how successful our efforts here are going to be but we'll see we'll throttle up we will start to ascend a little bit. We are going to definitely clip the bottom of the clouds as we try to poke through here. Well, the clear little rivers have carved out a bunch of stuff over here. Everything's collecting together down there and into a proper waterway there and into the lock. Because all these locks, which are like super long, they're basically just, just you know, water collected between mountains. They're either really skinny lakes or really fat rivers, depending on how you want to think about it. Uh, the sun's being occluded by another cloud layer. Oh, <gasps> look at the beauty back here, though. Oh, my gosh. Green shot. Green shot. I don't know if that's screwing up the video or anything, but I still I can't resist taking like a million screenshots from things like this. I dip down a little. I take a pretty screenshot here without ruining my flight. Okay. Woohoo! We're, we're close to the ground over there. But all good. All good. Uh, this river's looking a little bit whacked out. Like, it didn't quite get modeled properly. The, I think the satellite's imagery is a little confused, because it's like, well, at some point a river starts, so... 
I mean, because these are too small, I think, to be effectively, like, simulated water in the game. But, like, I don't know, we'll just start it here. At least when we're on top, it's a little bit of a smoother effect. It doesn't look as sharp. Actually, it looks great now. Probably has to do with the amount of tessellation as we get within range of things. It is always a tough decision with these flight sims to, like, optimize for, like, low flying like we are now. Versus sort of high flying in terms of, like, textures and details. Like, some of what we're, only, we're seeing here, we're only going to see when we're this close. I mean, this is not going to be a common area for things. It does look, it's, it's a little shameful that this is so blocky. And it stands out. It's like everything else. Whenever there's something that's not quite right, it really stands out, given how gorgeous everything else is. So um, I'm still hoping they're talking about all these, like, they can keep tweaking their, their AI for the mapping, and they can rerun it, and because it all streams live, it's all going to update. So as they clean up some of their, and tweak some of their algorithms and things to be more and more and more precise, um, as we find more of these sort of, like, out-of-the-way areas, here I am, you know, no one lives here. We'll find the river. See, it looks fine here. It only looked weird when we were dead on, and I think with the fact that the light was so bright. Oh, that was probably it, because normally you get, like, the water effect is quite, like, you know, it fades, it blends with things. But I think because of the shiny light and the way the reflection it was doing, we were seeing the full polygon. That's exactly it. That It's not that the geometry is off. It was just, oh my god, look how gorgeous this is. Oh, don't overspeed too much. There you go, bring it down. Screenshot. That is, that is so nice. Dip, 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 dip down. I still have no throttle on. Interesting to get some G-Force indicators here. For some of the maneuvers that I'm doing. Oh, yeah, baby. So pretty. So pretty. So we've gone over to another lock now. There we are over here. Oh, this is Oban! Yeah, we could probably land, uh, land at Oban actually so let's come up here let's um let's open this uh nearest airport list um egeo interesting north connell all right just traffic <laughs> left the runway uh well we're to the north of you no well slightly yeah. Alright, runway 19. But, I mean, there's there's nothing to do. Like, announce, hey, we're on our way. We can announce our position. We're X far away. Activate direct flight. Oh, you're coming in there. Um... There it is. However, just me, or are there some mountains in the way? Looks like we're going to be able to go over them. And, actually, the clouds. The cloud bank is back there. We've left it behind us. Here, there's a little bit more room. Oh, nice. Screenshot. Screenshot. I don't care about anything else about this game. The only thing I care about is how unbelievably gorgeous it is. And how satisfying it is to fly around. Um, now, what else do we, we got? Modes? Do we can we get some sort of nav tracking on the 3D vision mode? Because that would be kind of useful. Um, hmm. Map's fine. Yeah, because a little purple thing here. What other controls do we have in this plane? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, because there's not there's not a lot there. I mean, there's no autopilot, which is fine. Well, we know we're going vaguely in the right direction, so we've got that going on anyway. Uh, somewhere over here. Oh my god! So incredible. A few more clouds over on this side too. Screenshot. Good god. Um. I think there is a key to hide the UI, but I don't know what it is. I know it doesn't show up when you're in this mode, but then you don't have the same control. You can screenshot real quick before it kicks in. All right, so uh, I was going to say it should be right up over here because 
Oban basically straddles one side of this. It looks like North Connell Airport. I think it's on it's on the north side of this. Um, I mean, I don't know what you would call this place because it's, it's leading into the sea. But I don't know this side of the lock. Uh, look at this bank of cloud over here. Screen shot. Move the camera. Toggle. Screen shot. Look, we're just just on the edge, and I think it's moving too. So yeah, I think the town of Oban, or the city of Oban, I don't know. I think it's just town. I think it's on the other side. I think it's on the south. And then there's a bridge across, and we did drive through all this. Oh, God, it's so gorgeous. Like, I, I, I can't even, you guys. I can't even. Woohoo! Alright, let's see if we can land. So, um, runway, so it's 1 or 1, 9. That's fine. So basically, more or less straight north or straight south, off by 10 degrees. It should be pretty easy to come in. We've got the marker here for help, which is useful, considering our, our nav aids are, you know, potentially somewhat limited, but we're okay there. You know, there's not much to radio. I mean, again, we can, we already did say, uh, oh, actually, we didn't announce it yet. Oh, we announced our position, but uh, let's just announce ourselves on final. Not that that's actually it, but shush. Oh my god. Print screen. Look look at the shadow on the uh, the side of the the hill here. Oh, it just hurts to look at. It just it hurts to look at. It's too pretty. I know I'm not saying much, but I'm just, I don't know how to deal with it. Okay, well, let's, uh, well, let's stop overspeeding. Let's actually try to fly the plane for a bit. I know, it's hard. I just want to be a passenger. I want someone else to fly, so I can just be snapping pictures out the window. Let's drop some altitude here, because this is going to be pretty damn close to sea level. I can pull up some charts for it, but I assume it's going to be pretty damn close to sea level. And, yeah, right now we're going west, so we should be cutting across here. Yeah, I can't quite make out the... Oh, no, there it is. There's the runway. Yeah. There it is. Right over there. Weird, because it almost looks like there's another one there. Maybe there used to be. Maybe it's used for something else, but the runway is definitely running this way. All right, how's my... Uh... Oh, no, speed's good. What's nice is it's actually hard to throw this plane into a, a full-on spin. That's one of the reasons for these little uh, dropped areas at the end of the, uh, the wings. It... Um... It really is a is a heavy duty anti stall. I mean, yeah, we can you know, like sort of stall. Except what's going to happen is the plane. There we go. We've stalled. The plane's going to just drop and like instantly recover. Although I should probably recover a little harder here just to make sure we properly level out. But it's like it's really designed to be kind of dummy proof. Um, I guess. On the other side, the hill does come down over here. Green shot. Uh, toggle, screen shot. Love the little indicator, but I guess that's okay. Oh, that's pretty too. That is so pretty. I'm just going to sort of tuck down on the other side, and I think we'll actually be lined up quite nicely. I'm going to pull back on the throttle a little. But keep the vertical speed pretty even. All right. We'll deploy one level of flaps. Oh, there's our alignment over there. Still a lot of hilling. It Like, there's not a big margin. I, I would expect, like, taking off from one runway one, right? In the opposite direction, taking off. You're going to have to make sure to climb pretty consistently to not smack into here. I suspect it mostly is runway 19 that's active for the takeoffs anyway. Although maybe you could, you could make a left turn right away. It's not so bad for general aviation planes because... I mean, they're nimble enough that they can really make that corner pretty quickly. God, it's so pretty. I don't even... I, blah. Oh my god. We are... Well... No, we're definitely coming in... Uh, we're coming in a little high, aren't we? A little high, a little fast. We can deploy the second uh, flap. No, that's not... That's no good. Wow. I don't know if you can really come in from this side at all. You, like, land on runway 1, take off from 19... Because, I mean, we couldn't really be much lower than this. Maybe you come in at a bit of an angle. That could be. I know I don't have my brakes down. Or my brakes. My gears down. Wow. How do you... 
I mean, if you just skim it, and then you keep your profile good. Oh, that would be a fun challenge. Can you see how much I'm crabbing here? What's the winds? I can't get an ATIS over here, right? Um, I'd have to I'd have to look online to actually find out what the uh, the weather was like. I mean, I can open this, but if I'm on live weather, I can't actually interact with it. But there's definitely a wind coming off the lake here. That's for sure. All right, let's uh let's bring up our flaps. Uh, I should leave one level of flaps. Rattle up a little. So this is probably open. Yeah, there's the bridge I was talking about. Well, this is yeah, so still the outskirts. If we come down, it must be over here, the proper town. Let's do that. All right, we can get rid of the flaps completely. Speed's climbing. I can pitch up a little bit. Oh, that sun is almost setting. It's so pretty. Can't even deal. Open does make great whiskey as well. I mean, it's not just this. No, no, no. There's, there's another, there's another proper town. Somewhere over here, I'm almost sure of it. Did we drive along this road here? We might have. We might have. Oh, uh, yeah, see? Right over there, I think. That's probably it. You don't even have, like, some old, like, like a Roman-style Colosseum building? I feel like it's got something like that. I feel like it's got something like that. I'm kind of curious. We'll go over there. We'll, we'll go and land in this bay, maybe. Who needs airports? Pfft. Never need. I don't ever want to deploy my landing gear again. Landing gear's for suckers. Um, not here, is it? No. Is it? it? Doesn't seem big enough to me. What's down here? Those cars driving around in there? Or the like animals? No, it must be cars. Do you see the little movement? Just in this little block of flats. I think I have the airframe stress options turned off. It's like, I can just dive dive here and see what happens. If it just black screens us, we'll see. I think that is a bunch of cars just moving around. Okay. Yeah, I clearly have the, um, the airframe stress turned off, I think. Otherwise, I think bad things would have happened right there. Let's make it around this corner and see what we can see right over here. There's definitely some sort of settlements. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the lighting. I love the clouds. I love the trees. Turns out they did a pretty good... Yes, that's definitely it. Turns out they did a pretty good job with everything. <laughs> I could land, like, facing directly into the town. It'd be a little risky. Oh, do I want to do a fly over the town first? Yeah, let's fly over first. And then we'll land just in front. It's, a little, it's nicely sheltered, like... This little island here is going to protect against a lot of wind and waves as well. You got a much more calm sort of little harbor for ships to come in. And yeah, I definitely it's definitely nice and hilly like this. Yeah, this must be it. They're big sort of seaside front stuff. I mean, lots of like I think it's you know they got a lot of tourists and things. So the um, the street water right on the waterfront you know has a lot of like souvenirs and boutiques and stuff and, and shops and things like that. But also a lot of ice cream parlors, uh, fresh seafood. That you can get, you know, just caught that morning kind of thing. Little, uh, little sandwich shops. Yes. Oh, yes. So Ascension, I walked all up and down this street. Amazing, like, I've only been here once, and yet this map here is still so good that I can absolutely recognize it. I think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm on crack, and this is the wrong town, but... Feels right. So the distillery would be... Oh, look at this little river here. I don't remember that. Am I wrong? No, it's the children who are wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, is this the distillery? I think that might be it right there. I think. I don't think it's further in like this. We are, we are pretty low. I think we're breaking about 30 different laws here. But that's okay. I don't see any cops up here. I think we're fine. Ooh, can we make this? We are climbing. Oh, yeah, we're fine. All right, let's throw it away down. That is pretty. Green shot. 
Screenshot. Screenshot. Okay. Let's come on in. Loch Ness. It's Nessie. No, I mean, I know this is not Loch Ness. Is, is it just a tiny little island like, a tree on it? It is. Green shot. All right. Come in for the landing, so speed is climbing. We're descending quite quickly, but I'm okay with that for now. There you go. 100 feet. This is going to be... This is basically going to be sea level. We'll be landing... Well, I don't know. We don't have our... Um, our barometer set correctly necessarily so i don't know if it'll actually say zero but it'll be pretty darn close to zero when we touch liquid here that's actually below zero no it's below sea level yeah we just don't have the uh, the altimeter set correctly which is bad if we were actually inside because we'd have a hard time judging exactly how uh high off the water we are come on bleed off bleed off a little bit more speed although there we go hey very nice. And then if we're in here, we can do something like uh, deploy the water rudder again. I meant to deploy it at some point when we were in the air. And then, oh yeah! That rudder is the rudderiest! Alright, let's go, uh, let's, let's go live here. This is where we live now. Wouldn't be a bad life. Oh, even out the window over here. Green shot. <laughs> Green shot. Folks, thanks for watching another video. I know this one is a little unfocused, but I'm just having so much fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.